All right. Oh, I got excited and ran out of ammo. Well, there we go. I guess I'm going to pick up my hulls and the net seemed to stay fixed in, no problem. And the point of aim is uh, just about right. All right, we're going to do a quick product overview of the shotgun bayonet lug mount for an 870 shotgun. And this comes from S&J Hardware in Canada. Now, I do believe they ship to the United States for my American neighbors. So let's just open up the package and have a look. All right, a little booklet, some of the products they offer. There is the bayonet lug itself. This is, I believe, some non-slip tape. That is a uh, hexagon, so we will be using some hex keys for the install. Now what I have here is just a standard uh, bayonet for an AR. And I do believe this is gonna work. So. All right, so I have my HP9 here, and that is a Nurenko clone of an 870, and I have a three round mag extension on it. So as you can see, the front of the Remington mag extension is milled to accept the bayonet. So basically, all I have to do is replace that clamp with this clamp, and then I'm good to go. I also included in my order with S&J a new uh, spring and a new follower, one of their non-jam followers. So I thought I'd give that a try and we'll see how they run in the uh, shotguns. Alright, so this came with some, uh, basically some high heat friction tape. So it just peels off and I run a little bit on the inside here just to keep it from uh, slipping while it's installed. So before I uh, install the bayonet lug, what I'm going to do is just take the mag tube off. And take out the existing spring and the existing follower. This one was cut just a hair too short, so I had to put a spacer in it to be able to get it to uh, cycle the last round. So. Now this is slotted for an 870 that's got the dimples, but I have mine drilled out. Alrighty, so I'm just going to try it without trimming the uh, spring. Um, it's just a little bit longer than the one I have, and as I said, the one I have is, I was just a little bit overzealous and cut just a bit too much of it off, so um, if need be, I will trim a little bit off of this one, but hopefully I get it right. It's as simple as that. And now we're going to install the bayonet lug. And to do that, what I've done is just basically installed the clamp and lug onto the bayonet itself. And I'm just going to slide it in place. And now I'm just going to get a bit of Loctite for the end of this and secure it in place with a hex bolt. Alrighty, I've got a hex key and a little bit of a thread block. So. A little dose of that on the end. All right, so here's the shotgun uh, with the bayonet on the end of it. Seems to uh, hold well. It's sturdy enough. Uh, bayonet's cheap, so it goes in the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire this and just see if uh, she holds up. Now, if you recall, this is a uh, copy of a 
and it actually has a five plus one standard magazine so with the three round magazine it should be eight plus one all right I found a buckshot and a lot of people are asking me well why would you put a bayonet on a shotgun now you can't do this without a bayonet how about them apples <laughs> 